I'm here to sell it if you're buying. Alright. How does it sound now? Is it still jittery? Let me know if it's fixed. Hopefully this is fixed and we can just start playing. Let me know. Let somebody let me know if it still sounds like crap. Alright. Woo! That was stressful. <laughs> Sorry about that. At least I know how to fix it now. Um, okay, so let's go ahead and jump in. Uh, I, uh, let's see. Who is here with me? I know Nick is here. Nick, you were a huge, huge help. Uh, Mike is here. David Otero has been here for a while. Thank you all so much. Itchy, thanks for joining the stream. I'm playing Immortals. Uh, I love it. It's a lot of fun. Like, I think somebody asked me in the chat earlier, is it similar to uh, Breath of the Wild? And yes, of course it's similar. I mean, everyone who's been saying so, there, there have been a lot of, like, um, mechanics and ideas, I guess, that they sort of revamped, Ubisoft revamped, and they put it in this in this game, and it's fun. I mean, honestly, Breath of the Wild did a great job with, with how they put everything together, and I think that... Uh, Ubisoft took sort of like the best elements of that and you know Ubisoftified it I guess so I really I really am enjoying this game um, I've been playing it for the past couple of days and I want to say I'm like 40% through maybe I'm doing this Aphrodite quest line right now which is exactly where we're heading we're heading to uh, I will top. share my perfection with this world I so this is will make you see Typhon is like the bad guy or one of the bad guys. And he sometimes like will send out Achilles to attack you. So this is Achilles. He's like a notorious monster. I fought him like twice already. And uh not that difficult to beat. I, I do have to say. Alright, let me concentrate here. So I don't die. So I'm trying to build up his stun gauge right now. So I can get some better hits off of him. I guess it's kind of a cheese a little bit what I'm doing. I just realized he wasn't attacking me at all during that during that weird period. Alright, here we go. Oh, I guess he figured it out. This is so much better than Breath of the Wild, Lady Anne says. Um, I I don't know. I don't know if it's better than Breath of the Wild. I played a lot in Breath of the Wild. I put like over a hundred hours into that game. Uh, so I really loved it. And I'm enjoying this, but it doesn't it doesn't have that same like you know it doesn't give you that same feeling of awe and shock, I guess, that Breath of the Wild gave a lot of people, including myself. So I'm not sure if I put it up there with Breath of the Wild just yet, but I definitely think it's a game worth playing if you enjoy Breath of the Wild. Alright, Achilles. We're going down, my man. I never took Achilles for like a bad guy. Yeah, I always thought like, you know, he was probably a good guy. But yeah, I had it wrong all this time. Nick says it certainly looks better than Breath of the Wild. Yeah, I mean, I would agree. Obviously, it, it looks a lot better than Breath of the Wild. I'm not playing on this right now. This game obviously is available on Switch, but I am playing on Xbox Series X because if I'm going to stream it, I'm going to stream like the best possible looking version of it. And it looks really good on Series X compared to Switch. Uh, I do own it on Switch, though, and I kind of go back and forth between the two. Turn down my game audio here just a little bit. But you will join me for the war! There we go. I think I was running like a double game audio. Oh, hopefully it's not quite as loud as it was before. But you should still be able to hear the game. 
All right, let's make our way over to Aphrodite. Edgar Roach says, I just came back to your channel after the Dead Cells thing. It's good to see you here, buddy. Keep it up. Never give up. Thanks, Edgar. It's good to be here. It's good to be doing this live, hanging out with you guys. I am very thankful that I still have this opportunity to play video games. I do kind of wish that this game had like a better fast travel system. So far, I've only figured out that you can fast travel like to one spot, essentially. Or no, 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 a couple different spots. There's like, here, let me show you on the map for those of you who have not yet played. So you kind of start right here. And this is like the, uh, what is it called? The Valley of the Gods, Hall of Gods. And uh, it's kind of like where you can level up and do stuff. It's where the stream started. Um, and then you slowly open up areas, so you can still see I have, like, most of it, uh, like, closed off. Or it's not closed off, it's just I haven't explored it yet. So I did this a little bit, and then this is the starting area that I'm still working on. Um, and you can fast travel here, and you can fast travel to different, like, monuments. Like these monuments right here. And I'm sure this right here, these spots right here will become fast travel points as well. So, um, hopefully we'll unlock those later on. But it does give you more of an incentive to just kind of explore the open world, and there's a lot to do in this open world. I think there's more to do in this open world than probably Breath of the Wild had as well. So, oh, wrong button. So, um, I'll give it that for sure. It definitely has that over Breath of the Wild. This, this open world is more interesting, I think than what they did with Zelda. And hopefully they learn um, and do better in Breath of the Wild too. Uh, no, this is not running on Switch. This is running on Xbox Series X. But I do have the Switch version and I do play that one a lot too. But I exclusively play it for like handheld mode and stuff. But like I said earlier, if I'm gonna stream any game, I'm gonna try and stream like the best looking version of it. So if it's multi-platform, I'll probably stream like the Xbox or PlayStation version of it. Oh man, I hope I don't drown. Because you need stamina to swim in this game. I'll be I think I'll be okay. Dash forward. Okay. Back on our horsey. I knew this quest line. We're not too far away. She's like up there in that temple. I have to re recover the apple of Discord. Not that Discord, like the actual Discord. Um, <laughs> and then I have to, I guess, give that back to Aphrodite. I'm not sure. I'm curious to, to see who has actually um, played a, a, like a substantial amount of this game. Because I'm wondering like how popular it was. Because I feel like it kind of flew under the radar. It came out like at a weird time. It came out right around the time that like Assassin's Creed Valhalla came out, and that's a huge open world game. Cyberpunk and all those games. Mr. Latis says I've been wanting to get this on Xbox. You probably should. I mean, if you have it on Switch and you want to play like a better looking version of it, I would recommend if you have the extra cash to burn, getting it on, uh, getting it on Xbox. Nick Wilson, how does the how does the Pulse 3D headset sound on Xbox? Well, it's weird because I'm running it through my um, I'm running it through my PC, so I'm not sure how much that'll change the audio quality itself. But I think it sounds great. I mean, it sounds really nice. I just bought this game, installing it right now. No, <laughs> that's like what happens when I keep my eyes on the chat. I start flying off the rails. Oh my god, hidden gems, hidden game, hidden gem gamers. Excuse me, happy holidays. I asked you a while ago if you could check out my vids. I do game reviews. My favorite is my review of Singularity. I interviewed a dev. Wow, you interviewed a dev? That's awesome. See, stuff like that is, is what I think sets you apart from other reviewers, is if you have like exclusive content like ah, that, Aphrodite's um, palace. that's incredible, the man. Most that's, majestic that's super cool. I will definitely check out your channel. I think I, I saw that comment fly There's by and I just totally forgot, I think is but I would love to check out your channel Regal. and see what you do. Uh, 
And thank you so much for the super chat. I really, really, really do appreciate it. Five dollars helps me out. Any any amount helps me out. Much, much appreciated. Thank you. All right, so I guess I have to do this. Hey, that was super easy. Hmm. How does the Pulse 3D... Oh, no. I read that one. <laughs> I just bought this game, installing it right now. That's awesome. Did you... I'm wondering... Did you buy this game because I'm playing it right now? Or did you buy this game because you've been, like, on the fence about it? You weren't quite sure? All right. Here we go. Some combat. Once you figure that out, whether that's through like parrying or just straight up attacking them, it simplifies the combat quite a bit. Because at first it was quite difficult for me to figure out, but afterwards, uh, after I unlocked a few extra powers and just kind of got a hold of the controls, I think I figured it out much easier, or it got much easier. So it looks like this is some kind of a puzzle. There are three spots for apples, but we only have one apple here, so maybe have to find the other apples. Looks like there's some apples over there. Can I just grab them? Let's see. Can I throw it? Okay, good. So that's easy enough. Oh, another puzzle. So this is one of those, like, solve the picture puzzles. Handle it right after you take these, like, griffin things. Since your uh, stream was a coincidence, I just got bored with Valhalla, and Phoenix looks like genuine fun and less fluff. Yeah, that's it's so funny that you mentioned that because I actually, before I really got into this game, before I got into Immortals, I was playing Assassin's Creed Valhalla. And it's fine, like it's fun, it's a beautiful game, but it's just, I feel like we've played it before, like we've all played that game before. Um, and it doesn't really do anything so new that's like amazing and makes you want to play it. But this game is like, it's a little bit more fun, and like you said, there's like less fluff in it, it's kind of straight to the point, it gets straight to the fun. So, it's got my attention now. Um, what else? Boris wants to know, why Switch thumbnail and tag since it's not Switch version? Well, it's a Switch game, you can play it on Switch, uh, and I know that <laughs> I have a Nintendo channel, and I do play it on Switch, so that is primarily why I included it in the thumbnail. But if you'd like to watch uh, me play the 540p, like 27 frame per second version of this game, uh, then that's good to know. I'll, I'll definitely do that next time. Okay, so let's try and do this puzzle and uh, see if we can actually solve this thing. I don't think this is required, but you do get like skill points to level up if you solve if you, like puzzles like this. The way I know that is, like, there's a gold thing right here. There's, like, a little portal rift that should open up. And as far as I'm... As far as I know so far in this game, this is the only way that you can get, like, points, skill points to level up. Which is kind of an interesting choice. Okay, so... I feel like I already messed it up a little bit. But we will keep trying. I'm not going to spend too much time on this puzzle. Because this kind of does slow the game down a little bit. Oh, I see. Okay, I think I know what I have to do. So, some of them are hit or miss. Like, sometimes I can solve this in, like, two or three moves, and sometimes it takes a lot longer than that. Lady Anne, thank you so much for the sub. I really appreciate it. Looking forward to catching you in another stream in the future. For sure. <laughs> Alright, so, 
Let's see if this little formation that I've got works. Oh. Okay, so it's not, it's not gonna work. I need to move these things around a little bit more. Maybe if I... Okay, so then this one needs to be pushed over here. And then this one. Oh, this didn't go back all the way. All right, this is my last attempt and then we'll just move on from here if it's not gonna work. So I don't think it's required. Yes, we're totally gonna get it. Oh, I have it backwards. Dang it. All right, well, I'll just come back to this one. Let's see. Eros, what a mama's a hidden boy. quest. Always doing whatever Aphrodite told him to. Like shooting Helen with his arrow to fulfill her bargain with Paris of Troy. I wonder if Phoenix will test the power of an arrow on the Helen statue. So that's one thing about this game, too. Is like, you'll be doing one thing, and then you'll just stumble upon something. Something new will, will pop up, and then you'll get sidetracked, and you'll just start doing that, which is what constantly happens to me in this game. Turn around. Turn around, Phoenix. There we go. Um, I will be in the middle of a mission, and then I'll, like, stumble upon some side quest or something, and I totally get involved in that, which is hilarious. But it keeps, it keeps the game fun. Like, it, there's Once a lot to Eros do. Once struck her with Whoa. his arrow, she was powerless to do anything but leave her husband, Menelaos of Sparta, for Paris. That was a really easy quest. Some of the secret quests, though, don't have the greatest rewards. Like, I just got some stamina shrooms, which was okay, I guess. That's the real reward right there, solving that. But anyway, let's let's solve this puzzle thing, this uh, apple puzzle thing. There's one over there earlier, but it might have, like, despawned or something, so I'm just going to throw an extra one just in case. Yeah. Yeah. Why I went down. I should have double jumped in that spot. Come on, Phoenix. The climbing is definitely not as smooth as it is in Breath of the Wild, but I mean, that's kind of forgivable, I think. How did I lose one apple already? Maybe I have to bring them over here one at a time? Alright, well, there's two. There's no way it rolled off. Did it roll off? Barry Allen wishing everyone an amazing 2020, 2021. What's up, Barry? Good to see you in the chat, as always. I'm so excited for a new year. I think just like most everybody, I am over this year. I am ready for something new, something better, hopefully. But the year is, most of the time, what we make it. So hopefully you guys have some good New Year's resolutions planned out. All right, so now that we got this thing, I guess we have to, where do we move it to? Let's see, we move it over here? We have to roll it down the hill, recover the apple of discord. I just wanna make sure we're moving it towards the right spot. I'm guessing it's down there, yeah. So we just have to push it down this hill. Looks like it's just gonna go on its own. Come on, Apple. Work your way down the hill. Denton says Valhalla is beautiful. You might have offered Paris power, Hera, but it wasn't enough to win the Apple of Discord. Of course not. It was a total turn-off. I love his Paris run. didn't want power. So goofy. He was a slave to love. All right, so Denton said Valhalla is beautiful, but it is too long. Also, Athena. England does not know the Trojan War the map coming, feels like a Windows maybe XP he wallpaper. Taken the battle wisdom <laughs> promised him in exchange for the apple. But alas. Haha! <laughs> Time paradox. Wow. You're smarter than I gave you credit for. Oh, sorry. I uh, nodded off for a second. What was that? 
The apple of discord. All Hades broke loose over that thing. Three goddesses, toe to toe, for the title of most beautiful. Ah, but our hero knew the apple symbolized more to Aphrodite than a self-regard worthy of Narcissus. That's why she had to win. Oh yeah? What did Phoenix think it symbolized? Freedom. Alright, I moved the chat box a little bit. I just realized it was like covering half the stream. Sorry about that. Uh, so now we have to go to the Palace of Aphrodite. I wonder if we can just fast travel there. It might be even better. Where is the Palace of Aphrodite? Oh, it's just right there. So no fast traveling. But that's fine, it's actually not that far away. I'm going to play more video games in 2021, says Nick. Nice! That's cool. I actually should probably play more video games in 2021, too. I feel like I only played, like, maybe 15 or 20 different games, and not even in their entirety. I think I only beat, like, maybe the big ones, like, the big ones that I really cared about. Like, obviously, Last of Us... Part 2 was a huge thing. Uh, cyberpunk. <sighs> Those types of games. I will see you later, Denton. Thank you so much for joining the stream. By the way, I am also streaming on Twitch. Uh, which is... A first for me. I've done like a couple test streams on Switch, Twitch, so I can't say like it's the first time I've streamed on Twitch. But this is the first time I'm legitimately trying to stream on Twitch. So if you prefer Twitch, um, or if you have a Twitch uh, no. account and you want to see more of me, you can follow me there. For your Take down the Cyclops, dude. There's like so many Cyclops. And each time you kill them, you get some decent goodies. I think we actually stand a chance against Typhon. I love how when you kill with things in this game, they just go flying oh. and you just hit a home run. So yeah. awesome. All right, let's see what's in this chest. Probably nothing that great. But I could use some resources for potions and stuff. Nice. Is this on Switch? Uh, no, this is not on Switch. I'm playing on Xbox Series X right now. But could you imagine if this was on Switch? It'd be pretty incredible. Ooh, this is like another notorious monster. I bet you we could take this thing out. Let's try and fight it. This is probably going to be hard, but I think I can do it. No. Alright, perfect dodge that. Like a explosion, that's cool. Well. She's gonna do the explosion again. Oh, really? Oh, 
wrong button. One thing that definitely makes this game harder is that the stamina regeneration is pretty brutally slow. Like, it takes a while to get your stamina back, and you need your stamina to pull off certain moves, like, that are very powerful. Ooh, got me. Wasn't quick enough there. Alright, so they're stunned. Hopefully I can get some hits here. Oh my god, no! Okay, I saved myself. Kind of. What a mess. Oh no, I'm totally gonna fall! No! Alright, can I fight it down here? That would be a lot easier if I could. It's like almost dead, I think it- What?! It got all of its health back? Oh, that sucks. That's not fun at all. That's like almost worse than dying, because now I have to climb all the way back up here. <laughs> Alright. Well, I feel like it's pretty easy to take down. It was almost dead. And I remember like a couple days ago I was trying to kill this thing. And I had to run away from it because I was too weak. So now I know I can kill it and I, and I just feel very compelled. So we're going to take it down. Oh, really? Okay, starting off like that, huh? There we go. Alright, so I figured it's probably the best to just play it safe. That way, we can avoid those mistakes like falling off. two of those. I have an attack potion here, and I have a uh, defense potion, so hopefully that helps me out. Forgot about that explosion move. Alright, come on, Birdman. they were griffins, but I guess it makes sense that they're vultures. They don't really look like griffins. Barry says, I gave this game a pass, but might pick it up since there is a sale. Make it look fun. That's actually when I decided to get it on Switch as well. Um, I started playing on Switch, and then when I realized how much fun it was, and I saw a couple videos of like how it looked on other consoles and stuff, I decided to get it on Xbox so that whenever I'm playing on the TV, I would have like a higher quality version of it. Um, so that's like what my sort of play flow <laughs> is for this game. Uh, where it's like wherever I'm on TV, or whenever I play on TV, I, uh, I play it on a different console. When I'm playing handheld, I play it on Switch. But thank you so much, Barry. I appreciate you saying that I make it look fun. It is it is a lot of fun to play. It's, it's pretty cool. And like I said before, like if you even remotely liked Breath of the Wild, then you're gonna like this game as well. Alright, potion time. This guy keeps getting me with those explosions. I'm trying to carry that back to him, but it doesn't seem like it's hitting him. Come on, really? I 
not like attack lock or stun lock. Definitely, probably the hardest boss I've fought in this game, and it's not even like a full-blown boss. It's just kind of like a random creature just hanging out in the wild. get hit even once, it's pretty much over. So we gotta play it real safe. No, 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 get back, get back. I forgot that I had this thing that if I die, it regenerates all my health, but it has a cooldown of every 20 minutes, so thank god I had that. Because I would have been super dead, and this thing would have survived. Let's took it down. That was pretty nerve-wracking. Alright, the legendary dark, dark vulture. Do I get something for that? Phosphorus the Patriarch. So I think that's like a new bird thing? This one looks like a straight up seagull or dull, uh, duck or something. So this is the one you start with, which is like a phoenix, full blown phoenix. And then you, I got this thing, which is awesome because it has like this really good uh, stun attack. And obviously you guys can see how good stun attacks are in this game. This is stealth attacks create an explosion while Phosphor's cloak is active. All right, well, I'm gonna keep this one but I'll change the aesthetic to the other one, which I think is pretty cool that you can do that in this game. Transmogrify, I think that's what it's called. Transmog, some stuff. Holy cow, $20 in the super chat from Hidden Gem Gamers. Are you a fan of Raven Software? I've been a fan of theirs since the early 2000s with games like Soldier of Fortune, Star Trek, and Star Wars Singularity was their last game before Activision forced them to only work on Call of Duty. Um, yeah, I actually am. I'm a, not the biggest Ravensoft fan, but I have played their Call of Duty games. Um, I, I actually really loved Soldier of Fortune when that released on Xbox. I played a ton of that on Xbox Live uh, back in the day. and. That was just such, I remember it being such a brutal game because like that was before games got really graphic and gory and stuff, but you could like totally blow off people's like, obviously you could blow off their limbs and their like heads and stuff like that, but you could blow off like individual pieces of their face, which was of super graphic. What I mean to say is I'm only here to give, not to receive. But it's another apple for your collection. It's so beautiful. I want it. Did you know the Trojan War could have been avoided 
If Eris had been invited to Peleus and Thetis's wedding? What? I thought it had something to do with Troy and Greece! The shade Eris was throwing, how did I not put two and two together? The best parties are the ones that the goddess of Discord shows up to uninvited. Everyone knows that. Can't fight! To think Hera pulled Athena's hair over an apple. Her own daughter. Ah, right! The beauty contest! What moron appointed that blowhard Paris the judge? I'm looking at him. To be fair, I'd had a lot to drink. It wasn't Paris's fault. Hera offered to make him king of Asia and give him great riches. Athena offered great glory and renown in war. But show me a god or mortal who could resist Aphrodite's bribe of true love. Yeah, sure. It was Helen of Sparta's love Paris was after. So he did exactly what you asked and chose the most beautiful woman. Then, you know, started the Trojan War. I wanted to win that apple so badly. I wanted to win that apple so badly, I started a war for it! To show Zeus! Everything that came after was my fault. You are acting according to your nature, Aphrodite. Which is exactly why I'm better off without my essence. My nature caused only pain. That's where you're wrong, Aphrodite. You can't have one side of the coin without the other. Your passion, your unpredictability, and, I'll say it, your jealousy, your vanity, yes, they caused pain. But you know what else they did? <laughs> what? They created some of the greatest adventures, the greatest epics, the greatest stories the world will ever see. I'm a storyteller, I know. Sure, we would all be safer if we just stayed at home. But everything's more beautiful in color. The passion is worth the pain. Oh, in that vault are my unfiltered jealousies and darkest natures. If I let you in, everyone will judge me. I've been judged before. Aphrodite reign it in. Aphrodite, you're too much work. Aphrodite, you're too much travel. Aphrodite, you're too much. Whoever said that owes you an apology. What a jerk. I never meant it like that. Didn't you? You don't have to compete for my or anyone's love. You are enough. Anyway, if you're that beautiful and have a perfect personality too, well... Honestly, it's just annoying at that point. <laughs> All right. I'll move my room. Please, take this blessing before you go in there. Cool, a new blessing. This is a really long cutscene, by the way. You can find me at the Hall of the Gods. Get off me, all of you! It's enough already! Why don't you just go get a job? Jeez. I had no idea Hermes and Aphrodite were so close. They even had a child together. No way. Boy or girl? No. Ah, I see. The child was non-binary. Look at you. Oh Prometheus, God. I have an Amphora collection. I'm with it. Um, a lot of people say that this game isn't funny or like it misses the mark a lot, but I actually think this game is pretty freaking hilarious. Um, it's made me laugh a lot, especially Zeus and Prometheus. They're really, really funny. Let me catch up on the chat here. I've, I've missed a couple people here. Um, Barry Allen says, love Breath of the Wild. The DLC bike was a nice touch. I agree. I love that motorcycle in Breath of the Wild. It was really, really cool. It's kind of unfortunate though that it came like at such a late or like so long after Breath of the Wild uh, came out because like by the time the motorcycle came out I had already almost like 100%ed the game so there was almost no reason to go back and, and actually use the bike other than just to ride around Hyrule with it so that was kind of a cool touch. Let's see what else. Um, Nick Wilson says 2.06 a.m. here in Oxford UK time for bed. Have fun Philip. Thanks. Thank you, Nick. 
have a great night and uh thanks for checking out the stream i hope you come back to the next one uh Udigi or Udgi, i'm sorry i'm totally butchering your name um how is the game was thinking about buying it since it's on sale yes definitely go ahead and pick this game up it's a lot of fun no matter what platform you're playing it on i'm playing it on xbox right now xbox series x but it's also available on switch and I highly recommend getting it. It's it's just like it's very very similar to Breath of the Wild. So if you enjoyed Breath of the Wild, I would say you'll most likely enjoy this game as well. Um, it definitely puts its own spin on things. It's, it's it's got its own unique sort of flavor, which I really like, and it feels like a Ubisoft game. So if you like Ubisoft games, if you like Breath of the Wild, you're gonna like this one. And. Uh, I am enjoying it quite a bit. Hidden Gem Gamer says, Yeah, Soldier of Fortune ran out or ran on a modified Quake 2 engine called the Ghoul Engine. You could blow off enemies' limbs in 23 different sections of their body depending on where you shot them at. Yeah, that's like my most memorable thing from that game uh, was just like how the dismemberments worked and how graphic it, it all was. It was a lot of fun to play. Like the gunplay was pretty good too. Um, but just, yeah, it was super brutal. Like, I, I still don't think they make games that brutal. So I solved this one already. So this Aphrodite thing is over here. About 100 or so meters away. There's like a tree house here. I haven't even explored that at all yet. See, that's what I mean is like, there's so much that can very easily get you distracted in this game. So I'm pretty curious. What is this? I know that red crystal thing is good. So I'm gonna break that open. There's some wind currents right here that have not existed before. Are these wind currents? Yeah, they are. Alright, well, whatever. Let's just go to the quest thing for Aphrodite. Let's do that first before we do anything crazy. This is where I'm supposed to go? Inside of this rift? All right, here we go. So the rifts in this game are kind of like um, temples in Breath of the Wild. Or shrines. Sorry, not temples, shrines. Um, they're filled with puzzles. Sometimes they have enemies, but they're relatively quick to do. And I haven't found one that I didn't like so far. They're, they're all pretty unique and interesting. It doesn't feel repetitive. Like, I know sometimes things like this can get in video games. Maybe Hera's just jealous that Hera But I've only done about, like, nine or ten Hera. of them so far. I said it. So let's see. Oh, wait. Deep and dangerous. Well, I don't know what it... I don't know what that said. I totally missed it. But... Let's see. Some vaults... They'll, like, let you... Oh, I can't climb anything. Yeah, like, there's like a lot of restrictions in vaults. Don't fall. Oh, the camera really gets out of whack when you fly. You know, it can definitely mess you up sometimes. Um, some vaults, like they'll let you go inside of them, but you'll get a message on screen that says, like you're not powerful enough or you're lacking certain godly powers to be able to complete this vault, which I think is kind of strange that they'll even let you in there in the first place. So I hope that's not the case here, because I totally missed whatever that message was. Oh, these are not your average boulders. These are a little bit tougher. That really takes a few hits. And I got out of the control in that part. From Aphrodite's tree, but Typhon's poison it. He's guarding her essence with herself. That's twisted. Phoenix realized the seeds had to be burned to clear the air. Okay, so this is where I have to like, I, I guess, I guess I have to shoot this arrow, light it on fire, and guide it towards the seed to burn the seed. There we go. 
Not too bad. Simple enough. Is there another seed anywhere? There, it looks like they're all around. So, I should be able to cross through here. Let's get rid of these seeds. Is there another seed somewhere? Oh, there it is. So I gotta activate the flame thing. I have to find another pedestal to sit on. Oh man, there's like nine different kinds of puzzles here. Oh, it's poisonous. Okay. So what is this for? Can't fall into the poison area. And I have to get that ball up there before I die. Oh my goodness, this is gonna be crazy. Can I? All right. Well, there's something over there, including some health, which it looks like I need. So I'm gonna grab that. Oh, I get it. I totally get it. So I have to bring that block over here to that little foot switch thing and then maybe that'll get rid of the poison let's see can i jump all right i can jump so i just have to be smart about this cool so what did that do So that's on. Oh. So do I just like light the fire and then turn around? This arrow has a mind of its own. Full blown remote control arrow. Where's the seed? Is that supposed to be down here? Come on, seed. Alright, let me try that again try and locate it. Alright, it's right there. So I have to go from there to the other one. I guess I could probably... I don't have to stand right here to do it. Come on, jump up, don't die. I'll probably just stand over here and make my life a lot easier. There we go. Get some space between me and that fire. Did that get rid of the poison? All right, good. Now we can roll this ball up the ramp and into the spot that it needs to be in. Azaria says, loving this game. Me too, man. I'm having a ton of fun with this game. A lot more than I thought I would be. There's another seed right over there. How far along are you, Azaria? I'm curious. Do you feel like you're getting close to completing it? Because the game's been out for a while. It's almost a month now, maybe over a month. I'm not quite sure. All right, so the poison is gone. And it looks like we have another switch here unlocks that. Does it lock it back up? Yeah, it does. Alright, so this is... We can just reuse the same fire we had before. Some of them, they're pretty just blatantly obvious about. Some of them, they're a little bit more secret. It can be a little tougher. Did I get it? There we go. Let's go left. There's only room for Olympus for one. The unlock that seat before we can shoot it. Okay. There's a switch here. 
asked Athena by telling her to fix that crow's nest, she pretends passes for air. That hand doesn't do anything. So all, like I have to stay in this small little spot to fight everybody. Oh. that allows you to like adjust your speed that would definitely be helpful you might end up getting it i thought it'd be kind of like a vanity upgrade where it's like you don't really need it but i feel like it would make the quality of life a lot easier just just by having it we can get our health back here too which is nice harvey says this is a super overlooked great game i could not agree with you more I feel like it kind of flew under the radar and got overlooked because so many games released right next to it that are way higher profile games like Cyberpunk uh, and even Assassin's Creed Valhalla took a lot of the steam away from this game. I don't know why Ubisoft decided to release two open world games at the same time, Assassin's Creed and this game. It was, seems like a really silly choice on their part. But they did. Wait, was I supposed to go right over there? Because that seed area is still locked. So is there a spot to... Yeah, this door opened up. All right, so we got to go this way. Azar Azaria, only 10 hours in, fills the Breath of the Wild, wild Void for sure. Yeah, it does. It definitely does. scratches that open world itch a lot better than uh, Assassin's Creed Valhalla was doing it. Oh man, they want me to fight like a full-blown mini-boss right now in this poison area. Alright, here we go. to me it's all right it should spit us out right where he was so I can take him out quickly so stay away from the poison and be better at dodges got it definitely not 
doing as much damage on this guy as I thought it would be. Oh. Oh. a little bit of a sponge. Gosh, it is so powerful. Yikes. All right. We'll get him. Third time's a charm. Wow, that really is very strong. I probably should not have come here without any potions. Probably not the brightest idea. But that's really the one move that he has that I have trouble dodging. It's that charge move. Guys, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. It's hard without potions. It's very, very hard without potions. But uh, we'll we'll get through it. I'm not giving up on this. Don't need to heal that with that. Is that other ward back? No. So that's gone too. Which is kind of a big yikes. This is gonna make it that much harder for me. I don't want to start this like uh, what do they call it? vaults. I want to start this vault over again. So I'll just get in here. Just have to play smart. Here. Try not to take as much damage. I'm already doing better. That's right. Oh, oh. He's almost dead. Oh. I didn't know like I definitely dodged. Alright, stop moving towards the poison stuff. 
So we're at one, one hit. Oh my goodness. All right. I'm out of here. I'm leaving this. Let's go do something else. Let's go do a different thing. Burn. Wait. Burn the bulbs first, then fight it? I don't think you can. I mean, all right. Let's try that. We'll try that once. And then if it doesn't work, uh, I'll leave if I die. Try double jump over bull charge. All right. I'll try that too. Two bulbs in here or one? Oh, you can. Okay, that will make the whole fight so much easier. Thank you for letting me know about that. Especially if there's like more health. Oh god, there is more health. It's so much easier. All right, good. So that's what we'll focus on. I'm happy I didn't just drop out right away. So close. Finally, I feel like I should get like an epic reward for that, or at least like some heals after that. That was crazy. What console are you playing on? I ordered it for PS5, but I don't have one yet. Why would you order it for a console you don't have yet? Um, unless you know you're gonna absolutely get that console, then I would say, fine. Um, I'm playing this on an Xbox Series X, but I'd imagine it probably looks identical on a PlayStation 5. So don't worry. I'm sure it'll look at least as good as this, if not better. All right, so the arrow's on fire. And we got that one. Oh yeah, light.
Ignite my fire. Nice. Was that the one that was like hollowed out from before? I think it was. Right, so let's fly over there. Someone trying to spam the chat. Please don't come in here and spam chat. That kind of sucks for everyone, really, including yourself, because you're going to get banned if that happens. Um, okay. What is this spot for? It must be to, like, launch something off. All right, so we could go back down there. There's the seed. We got to see how to activate it first. Can't go up there yet. Carry. I wonder if there's like a pressure switch somewhere. Alright, so it looks like we have to probably start. Yeah, start over here. There's a little ball thing here. A lot more poison. Really weird one. Hmm. I guess we could probably. Nope. That was close. Alright, so we could light the fire. We have to transfer it to like another potem. I thought there was a potem over here. This one there's something over there. Yeah! Oh, the seed's right over there. Okay, I see what I have. To do. All right, so shoot that, and then light that one, and then we can take the fire from this one. Get the seed that's in here. Is there a seed in here? Oh, I thought there was a seed right there. There has to be a reason that I just did that. So. Hmm. What's up, Abso? Lootly? <laughs> Good to yeah. see you, man. You must be a huge Tim and Eric fan. I love Tim and Eric myself. <laughs> I'm gonna run into this and like, click this. And see what that does. Did that do anything for me? Oh, the seed's right there for that one. Okay, cool. So we can just do a quick little U turn with our arrow, as most professional archers know how to do. Oh, I missed it. Clearly, I'm not a professional archer. So we'll shoot it from the other side. Make our lives a lot easier. That gets rid of all that poison. Now can we grab this ball? We'll pull it to that other pressure switch. It's a process. It's a little bit of a process, but it's actually kind of fun doing all of this, so... I'm enjoying it. Is this like Zelda? Yeah, it's, it's a little bit like Zelda. It has that Zelda gameplay, so if you have a Zelda itch, I would recommend checking this out. All right, so what did this do? Ah, oh, but they're smart. They don't want us to shoot the other seeds. Oh wait, it created that? Is that like a platform for me to stand on? Like, what is the purpose of this? So strange. Alright, well, we gotta find the other seed. There's like a branch down here. I guess the best way to scout it out is just with my, with my arrow. Alright, there it is. I see it over there. So we'll grab that. Let me just fix my camera real quick. Okay. 
So we'll grab this flame. And there's the seed for... I hope it's the right area. This might be the next area seed that I'm getting. Oh, I see it. It's right there. How silly. It's just hiding behind this wall. All this time. Okay. Oh, there's still another seat somewhere. At least for that spot. Okay, so I'm gonna need to activate that if I'm gonna move past this spot, because I don't think I can survive. Let me get some health. There we go. So where the heck is this seat? Right here. Sometimes this game makes you feel real dumb. Alright. Almost fell down there again. Thank you, absolutely. I appreciate that. I have definitely been working on um, my mental health, and uh, I can def I can say for sure that I feel like I am in a good place. So you do not have to worry. I'm healthy mentally and stable. So I appreciate it. I have a very uh, loving and supporting uh, family and group of friends, and obviously my core subscriber base. Uh, is amazing. You guys are really, really a big part of why I am in a good place right now. So, thank you for that. I honestly cannot thank you enough for that. Alright, so I'm not sure what that unlocked for us, but there is another area back here that we have not yet seen, so let's go check that out. This is definitely the biggest vault I have explored so far. I kind of can't believe how long it is. Take out that seed. We don't have to do much turning or anything. Almost fell down again. Alright, we've got a ball now. Now, this should be the final pressure switch, at least for this part of the vault. Oh, the chat. <laughs> the chat made me drop the ball. Well, it's not you guys. It's me reading the chat. Um, but I was just reading Absolutely's comments. We all have a pass, man. It's really easy for people to bring it up over and over again. Yeah, I know. Tell me about it. I have a feeling like I'm going to be hearing this for the rest of my life, which is kind of unfortunate, but um, it is what it is. You can't really control other people. You can only control what you do and how you choose to live your life moving forward. And I choose to live my life as positively and happily and productively as I possibly can. Oh, it's just like a an area where you can fall, so I'm pretty happy that's fenced off. And then we'll roll this down and see if it can fall in on its own. Chris, this is actually not Very the Switch version. Right. I am playing he has me the Xbox down, Series X version. I'm not here to play. Oh, I see. Now I have to... How do they expect me to do this? This is going to be crazy. Bullet time. I think we're going to make it. I think we're home free. There we go. Woo! Hot as an eternal flame. 
You'll be back to yourself soon, Aphrodite. Cool. Can we move forward out of here? That was a huge puzzle. Bro, people in the Smash community are being outed as predators. It's nothing, man. It could be so much worse. I know. I know. There are a lot of people on social media, like influencers, YouTubers, uh, streamers, who have done some pretty unspeakable things. Some, like, very horrible things. Like, predatorial stuff. And I don't know how some of them are able to bounce back from that. It's mind-blowing to me. I really don't know. But, hey, there you go. That's how the world works, I guess. I definitely don't support those people, though. That That is a huge... I don't know, just subject that I don't even want to explore. Azaria, this is equivalent to a divine beast for sure. Yeah, it feels like a divine beast. Like, this feels like a gigantic temple. I think this is probably one of the last parts of the Aphrodite quest. So that's probably why this is like such a massive undertaking. But there's like different Seriously, quest lines for different gods. Moving which is back cool. in with your mother. Like I think after this one, I want to do the, the Ares the quest line. She's which is using fun. you. Grow up. I did the first part of it, and it seemed really exciting and, and actually kind of funny too. Cancel culture is surprisingly random. Yeah, tell me about it. It is. It's something that I do not understand. Like, I understand why people get canceled, obviously. And that makes complete sense to me. What I do not understand, though, is how some people can get, um, like, do something so horrible and then survive it. Be uncanceled, as, as they say, or whatever. How do I get that thing moving? That is so weird. Okay. So this switch activates this fireball. Maybe I could just like try and survive fast enough to, to kill that seed. Oh, I get it. I know what to do. I gotta drag it, don't I? That's what I have to do. Because it's already on fire anyway. And it'll burn the seed. So that's this game's equivalent of like magnesis. out of me. I thought all those spears just went through me. And you need stamina to do this too? Oh my goodness. Well, at least the stamina regenerates faster when you're not in combat. I appreciate that. By the way, the thumbnails are beautiful and your videos and your video you made on Switch accessories a while back almost seemed colorful. I'm not sure what camera work you pulled there, but it was crazy. Thank you. Thank you so much. Absolutely. I appreciate that a lot. Um, yeah, I take a lot of pride in all of the content that I put out, not just like my thumbnails and stuff. But uh, if you watch like, you know, my game reviews or my accessory reviews, I try and keep them all like at a certain level of quality. And that's something that I'd honestly love to keep doing, but it, it's hard to justify to myself putting in like 30 plus hours of work on a video that is not going to get seen by a lot of people and even if it doesn't get seen by a lot of people that's fine I mean, if I get like you know 500 views come on jump why am I stuck even if I get like 500 views off of a video that's fine I just they get bombarded with dislikes and it's very very discouraging to want to put that much time and effort and work into a project that you know is just going to get basically killed on arrival or it's going to be dead on arrival when you have like an army of I don't even know what to call them just haters you know waiting by the dislike button so it's hard to justify that but it's easier to you know stream or make let's play videos because I can make those a lot quicker and uh, I don't have to spend, you know, an entire week putting together a video like that. So it's really not that big of a deal. Alright, let's pull this wall over here. 
Maybe one day, though, if things calm down, I can get back to making those higher quality videos that everyone likes to watch, and I love making. Come on, ball. Come back. Stop rolling away. Get to this flame. There we go. Alright, now we gotta work our way all the way around again. I guess it's probably easiest if I just do it, like, wall to wall. So I'll go over here. I don't know what the range is like on these. It's pretty good. Pretty good range. Drag this over here. All the way to the seed. Thank god it doesn't like, lose its flame. That would suck if the flame like, expired after a while. So what did that unlock for me? Now I have to shoot this seed all the way back here. Okay. Boom! Got it. Goodness gracious! Great balls of fire! That's the last seed! Time to get Aphrodite back to her free-spirited self. Is that the last seed? Oh wait, now I can run to, to her. Get some health. So how do... Where to now? It's like so... Am I missing chests? Hold on, I want to go back over there and see if there was like a chest. Those like uh, golden beams shooting into the sky, I think are chests. So I just want to make sure I got everything. Yeah, there is a chest in here. Each of these vaults, I almost died again. Each of these vaults have um, a weapon or a piece of armor or something hidden in them. So I want to make sure I get that. I'm trying to collect all the sets. I can see we missed one over there, too. And over there. But what's nice, though, is you can always come back to a vault and get the additional item later, which is nice. Might as well just very very quickly, because like there's am there's ambrosia in those things too, and you can use that to upgrade your health. So I just want to grab it, since we're already here. Chest is right here, and hopefully one of them will be like a weapon or a sword or something. I think one more ambrosia, and I should have enough to uh, level up my health bar a little bit. This game really is super underrated. I can't believe that it came out on all platforms simultaneously. Seriously, if you're watching this... Oh no, my camera's turned off. Thank you so much for telling me. Hold on, I'll fix it.
Because there was like another spot. How is it? It's, uh, it disappears when you get close to it. It's throwing me off, guys. Where did they hide this chest? Is it like below off to the side somewhere? Like they do in Zelda games? And now it's staying over there? Are you kidding me? Is it in between these structures? Or is it like on the... Oh, it's probably over here. Yep. I thought so. Ooh. Coins of Sharon. Nice. So that's how you level up like your skills and your godly powers. Which is kind of funny, you don't level up through combat at all. Alright, now let's go climb the tree. The tree of Aphrodite. That's almost a huge mistake. Gabriel, uh, I want to know if it's worth it on the Switch. Yes, it's definitely worth it on the Switch. I have the Switch version as well, and it's what I play when I'm like, as if I could ever love you know, a not home when I'm for, playing so portably or whatever. I need that face alone to seek a thousand ships. Oh, down below. Oh, let's just say there's no riptide. And I highly recommend uh, you pick it up on Switch if you're like a a fan of Zelda games or open world games. This, in my opinion, is probably um, one of the best, if not the best, open world game or open world action RP games that Ubisoft has put out in like the last five years. Where is the seed? Oh, there it is. It's like right next to me. I didn't mean to put so much pressure on Aphrodite. Sometimes we think we're showing love for someone, when really, we're fulfilling our own needs through them. So you're saying I actually need someone to protect me? Not exactly, but... It's so true. I've always had to stay strong for everyone. No one ever takes care of me. Prometheus, it's so hard. I'd hug you, but I'm chained to a rock. <laughs> I'm about to fight the top enemy, it says. Let me see. Hold on. I don't know if I should return or should I fight this thing? Man, because I have a feeling we're probably going to die at least a couple times. I want to fight it. Whatever. Let's fight it. I was in this situation earlier, too, where like I was fighting this really hard boss in a vault and I didn't have any potions so I basically had to like defeat the guy without getting hit um, which took a little while but I eventually got it done I just don't want to get stuck in this while I'm moving imagine if this game has cross save it does have cross save it has cross save as long as you have a Ubisoft account you can cross save through any platform so that was that was why I got it twice essentially so I could play it um, on my Xbox, and I can play it on my Switch. All right, no more talking for a little bit. I have to concentrate. I have to be able to take this thing down. Okay, probably just gonna use this first life as like a a trial to see all of its move sets and stuff. And then we'll go back and actually seriously try and take it down. Oh, it's gonna have little minions too. This is like a real boss. Oh yeah, 
that does pretty good damage. Right, but then that little wave thing that she does destroys what's left of them, so we're not just lying around anymore. Alright, I think I've got her mechanics down. Should be simple enough. out her minions. It's like the worst. Because she'll start fighting again if you don't, uh, if you don't take them down. Oh, she's stunned. You so threatened by me. You married me off the first safe start to my propose. I deserve better than his pestos. Not fair. Kind of held me hostage. Which was pretty impressive. I thought, this guy uh, is son material. He was already your son. Well, that was the only moment he lived up to it. out a lot quicker. Oh, she's weakened.
and whenever I have, whenever she throws those like fireballs down, I never have enough stamina to actually pick them up. I just keep beating through all my stamina. What if I just ignore these other two? Maybe she won't keep respawning these others. Yes, the boss is definitely really landed right on that. This boss is a little on the spongy side, that's for sure. Spawning ads no matter what. I wonder what took out her stamina in that spot. That's weird. Such a spongy boss. I think if I die, if I die there, I'm just gonna like bounce out of this area. It's obviously I'm a little under leveled. One hit, I'm done. There it is. All right. Let's bounce out of this temple. We can come back though, which is nice. How do I do that? Oh, I got this blessing. I never even found out what it was. Being hit once does not reset the combo meter. That's cool. No. I want to be in conflict. Oh my god, really? Alright, how do I just die? Let's just die. Come on. Kill me as quickly as you can. I won't let you fall off the sides either. Because that's like a long battle. I don't want to have to sit through that just to die again. So I'd rather just go do quests that I can actually finish, and then maybe uh, once I get like at least some extra health potions, I'll be able to come back and fight her. Oh my god, my second life kicked in right at the worst spot too. should be a way to exit out, right? Am I stuck in here? Wow, I'm stuck in here. That's crazy. All right. I guess I have to fight her. This is going to be like a no a no hit epic Dark Souls style boss fight, I guess. All right, I'll give her one more I'll give her one more try. If it doesn't work, then um, I'll probably just jump off stream and try and Kill her off stream later tonight or tomorrow or something like that because I don't want to have to do this over and over again. Stamina. 
did get her with that. Alright, good. So she's halfway stunned. Time for ads. instead of the throw because I had uh, LB held down. So no. Totally my fault. It's such a dumb move. Let's see. Turn down the game sound a little bit. So I think that was just on the little on the loud side. That one's down. Right. Oh, she's stunned already. God, the stamina regeneration in this game is like infuriating. can attack it while it's doing this oh my gosh this changes everything I can totally build up oh man all right I want to fight this again I want to fight this boss one last time because now that I know this like this totally changes everything I can definitely kill this boss I thought it was like um immortal or whatever when it uh hardened or whatever you would call that. I don't even know what you would call that. But these, like, ads here are so... They're easy to take down, so it's not that big of a deal to have a couple of them flying around. Alright, good. I had my second chance. Man, I can't believe I didn't even try to figure that out before. Okay, 
Thanks for the cheap shots. gonna do it again we're gonna do it again now that i know that trick it's gonna be fine oh i got some potions back too which is nice all right this should be easy enough start off with a good hit start off by getting hit Stay under her wings too. It looks like her own little vulture minions will actually attack her as well. Faster Phoenix, you're so slow. of patience for this fight. Yeah, it is a very long fight. It probably shouldn't be this long. It'd probably be a lot easier if I had came in here with like health potions and stuff. But man, I can't really back out of it. I kind of have to finish it. I don't have a choice at this point. But I know I'll get it eventually. This I think is my last attempt though for the stream. Because it's getting pretty late over here. And <laughs> I know you guys don't want to keep me watching uh, or keep watching me fight this thing over and over again. I'm 
really hoping that I have that second chance pop up one last time. That would be so helpful. It did. All right, good. All right, I feel much better about this. I'm just going to eat all these mushrooms. It sucks so much not having stamina. It looks like she ends up hurting herself a lot. Got it. She's so close. Their problem, not mine. I must see. Get out of the way. Gosh, so many things. So many. I'm getting hit from so many different directions. It's ridiculous. was insane. That was like one of the craziest fights. Definitely the craziest fight in this game. Possibly one of the craziest fights I've ever done. Whew. Okay. Aphrodite, you better appreciate this. Because that was not easy. Is there anything in this tree? Yeah! Let me just take a quick look around here just to make sure I'm not missing anything. Because this game loves to hide chests and stuff around here. And I didn't get, like, the weapon or the armor chest in here. Man, that was crazy, guys. I'm still not over that. That was, like, really insane. <laughs> I'm, like, shaking because it was so close. It was, like, down to the wire. All right, let's go. Let's go get our Zeus's lightning or whatever it is that's waiting for us. Something Greek and something mythological, that's for sure. A faint hint of perfume wafted past. That smell. It's... Ooh. Gintoki. I'm glad to see you're building yourself back up. I believe you can do it. Thank you so much, Kentucky. I appreciate that. It helps. It definitely helps having you guys here with me while I stream and stuff like that. Just to keep the conversations going. Keep me enticed. You know how it goes. Unfazed Thank you by so the much, jealous though. thoughts echoing inside the vault. JH. Was determined <laughs> that last moment gave Aphrodite me anxiety. It gave me a lot of anxiety, essence. too. Three Aphrodite from tree form. All right, I'm gonna go do this. I have to complete this quest line. I've been like waiting to finish this. Would it be faster to fast travel though? I think it might be faster to fast travel at this point. Is this the thing? No, this is defeat Achilles. Where is this thing telling me to go? Where is Aphrodite's tree form? Why am I missing this on the map? Maybe it's not on the map. All right, it's just south, slightly south. This is Aphrodite's tree form right here, right? All right, I'm just gonna follow the the map. We'll walk our way over there. It'll give you guys a chance to see how beautiful this game really is, though. Why would you play this on the Switch and not just play Breath of the Wild? I mean, I beat Breath of the Wild almost twice. Like, I beat it on normal mode, and then I beat it on master mode. And I still go back to it from time to time. 
So I think playing this on Switch, if you've played Breath of the Wild a couple times and you want like, a new story, maybe some new mechanics, um, that's probably why, I guess, you'd want to play something like this. I'm not going to get distracted by anything except maybe that Ambrosia right there. I will stop for that Ambrosia. So now I think I can level my guy up a little bit too. Am I in, I'm technically in combat mode now, I guess, since these things are chasing me. There's so much to do in this game. I'm so tempted to just always like sidetrack over to do something else, but then I wouldn't get anything done if that's how it was. Get my mount back. I still have the original like horse that you start the game with. It's been serving me well though. supposed to go to the god like the valley of the gods area is that where it wants me to go because that would be really funny i guess i can't fast travel while i'm in battle oh no she's not she's not up there because it would show some sort of like elevation change so she's probably just straight ahead 300 or so meters travel. I wonder if it's because I'm still technically in, uh, in combat. Oh no. Am I going to fall? No. I got to eat these mushrooms. Get it? Oh, that was so close. Can I fast travel now? Alright, Hall of the Gods. Hopefully Aphrodite's just waiting for us there. And then since we're there, we can, like, use that Ambrosia, get some health. You're definitely bringing some life back to this dusty old hall, Aphrodite. Oh, Plant she's, life. like, straight up there Plant in life. tree form. Wow. I told you I'd get your essence back. I didn't doubt that. But do you see me differently now that you've heard all my worst thoughts? Not at all. I'm excited to meet the real you. Because honestly, Hermes' hair is a bit much right now. Wait, what? Okay. Then I'm ready. Your passion and love forever be boundless. Rise, golden goddess Aphrodite. Hey, she's back in her original form. I know. 
Can you believe you actually had to convince me to return to this body? Oh, without you, I would have lost the ability to love myself forever. Actually, I stole that years ago. Clearly. Looks like you've been loving yourself far too much. Oh, you might want to disinfect that toga. Oh, glad you're back. Please, Phoenix. Take my final blessing as thanks. Aphrodite's Rapture. Very cool. Ready that... to defeat Typhon? I'm more than ready to take down the ugly beast that stole my beauty. But there is one other thing I could use your help with. What can I do? There are four mythical beasts Typhon brought out of Tartarus to terrorize the creatures of the Golden Isle. If you could end their reign by defeating them in battle, I would be extremely grateful. Uh, normally, I wouldn't care, but I guess I'm going so. I'll take care of it. <laughs> of course you will. You're in the market nice. For Finally. Azaria says this game has some qualities better than Breath of the Wild, I feel. I agree. I agree. I'm not going to go ahead and say the graphics are better, because I think it's like a... You know, it's the art style is, is different. I actually prefer... The way Breath of the Wild looks, it's a little bit simpler. But I mean, you can't say that this game isn't beautiful. I mean, look at this. It's pretty, pretty crazy. Um, and it does do some things that Breath of the Wild doesn't do um, differently. Like I said earlier, the open world is quite a bit more filled in. So there's more to do in it, which is always a good thing. But then again, Breath of the Wild is Breath of the Wild. You know, it's like hard to compete against that game. And I'm not necessary. And I don't think that this game necessarily is trying to compete against Breath of the Wild. It's definitely trying to do its own thing. It's, it's a Ubisoft open world game. Like they're all pretty similar. Um, but this game feels special, and I hope that more people do get a chance to check it out, and it doesn't kind of just fall by the wayside and uh, you know overshadowed by these other big games. But anyway, this is a perfect spot to cut this stream out because I've been going for over two hours. Uh, my girlfriend is already texting me telling me it's time <laughs> to get off because she made dinner and uh, I have to go eat it now. But thank you guys so, so much for checking out this stream, for stopping by, hanging out with me. Um, I'm, si I'm streaming simultaneously on Twitch and YouTube. So if you want to see me on Twitch, I'm there as well. And I'll probably slowly start migrating over to Twitch and, and stream exclusively on Twitch and then up upload like highlights on YouTube because um, that's what I guess people do and that's how you're supposed to do it. But um, yeah, let me know. Drop me a follow on Twitch uh, if you guys have Twitch accounts, if you watch there. Other than that, you can subscribe to this YouTube channel because I will be live streaming on here for a little while as well. So uh, yeah, happy new year, everybody. Happy 2021. I hope you all have a fantastic new year if I don't see you uh, again. For, you know before the new year happens but other than that uh take care have a great night or day wherever you guys are and i'll see you in the next stream take care